part of the preparation for Red Boxing Road to Glory. Which takes place next, next Saturday, August 24th at the Pico Rivera Sports Arena. The first fight, ladies and gentlemen, is scheduled for 6 p.m. So now once, once again, thank you for attending. Our fighters are all seated here along with our promoter. Starting on the far end is Devon, the greatest lead. At the far end, Devon, the greatest lead. He will be fighting in a super lightweight position. He is undefeated with seven wins. Six of those wins coming by way of knockout. Out of Churchill Boxing Gym, from Sacramento, California. And next to him, this boxer, he's out of 15th round boxing from Glendale, California. Andre Little Giant Marquez. His goal is 5 feet 5 and he boxes in the featherweight division. Next to him is one of our GBO champions. He is the reigning GBO California State lightweight champion, Angel El Moreno Rodriguez. His record, three wins, no defeats, one win by way of knockout. He won the title back on June 15th and will make his first defense on October 12th at the Pico Rivera Sports Arena. He hails from Pico Rivera, California and represents last round boxing. Again, I introduced you earlier to our promoter, Mr. Ray Wattis. Now this boxer, the next one in line here, has made a huge impression on everyone. His name is Oleksiy Barker, also known as the Ukrainian Nightmare. He is the left hand of the GBO California State Welterweight Champion from Fullerton, California. His professional record stands at an unbeaten three wins and no defeats. All three of those wins by first round knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, on real boxing, Oleksiy, the Ukrainian Nightmare Barker. Finally, here on this end of the table, he boxes in the super lightweight division. He is Steven Elementado Rodriguez. He has an undefeated record seven wins. Five of those wins by way of knockout. Boxing out of the OC Boxing Gym, Team OC Boxing, from Anaheim, California. Ladies and gentlemen, Steven Elementado Rodriguez. This is like the first time I've seen where you don't have a fighter from the Philippines. Uh, uh, why is that? Uh, first and foremost, I have to step out there that I'm not a Filipino promoter. We have to understand if I put Filipino on the card, I would be remembered as a Filipino promoter. I have, if you look at me, you study my background, I do films, I promote films, I promote music, and I promote boxing. Now, I'm uh, sitting is actually a promoter of people. So what I'm trying to do is to fill that other ethnicity before I bring in the Filipino people. And that's why I don't I don't bring Filipinos on my card. Let's be here for the people's place. This question is for Alexi. What is it about the Ukraine that produces such great boxers? Hi everyone, thanks for coming. Um, I have no idea. Right now there's lots of Ukrainian champions. I, I guess it might be in our blood. It might be in our blood, I have no idea. Okay, so the question was what happened uh, with Salido and Lomachenko's fight? Uh, I think Lomachenko won that fight. I, it's not because I'm Ukrainian, boxing wise, but it's my personal opinion. <laughs> Thank you. My question is really for all the fighters there, um, and then I have another one for, for Ray. What was your, your favorite knockout, whether it's amateur or pro, what was your favorite knockout? I, I know my favorite knockout from you, but I want to hear from all the fighters. What was your favorite knockout? What was your favorite stoppage? Uh, like, our knockout? Yeah, your favorite knockout. Your, your favorite. Um, okay, I'm, there's a knockout. I meant to uh, throw a body shot, but I threw two body shots. First one, I landed on the liver, and the guy was going down. I, was, I meant to throw another body shot, 
but I hit his shoulder and dislocated his shoulder with a with a punch. Push this button. Lost. I went up against somebody in the first three. This was my first fight, but uh, my second fight, I even surprised myself. I didn't know I had it in me, and uh, when I dropped his knee, like his body kind of spasming out. It came up, you know? It was great, but it was very fun. The amateurs, um, there was this kid that I fought, and uh, we were supposed to originally fight him at the Rock Gym, and uh, he pulled out. And uh, he had like a winning record, it was like 17 or 2 or something, and I just got a global division. And uh, something happened, so we didn't uh, end up fighting him on that show. We ended up fighting him on another show at the Sportsman's Lodge, and the second round, uh, I took it to him and I knocked him down. They still didn't give me a fight for the tantrum, you know. And uh, the whole crowd booed when I got, I got the loss. So I thought that was, uh, you know, one of my favorite friends. They saw me really one that day. So, you know, I was a proud favorite. Ability, uh, record of the other guy who you guys gonna fight? Gonna fight on the distance, trying to try to find the knockout. Any predictions for each one of you guys? Um, yeah, usually uh, I focus on going the whole distance. I make sure I'm ready to go the whole distance. And uh, I actually set in my mind to go the full distance. And I got lucky, thank God, you know, it's been the first round knockout. But same thing, this fight, I'm preparing to go the full distance and just working, working, and working. Yeah, definitely uh, I will take uh, every fight round by round. Um, you know, I don't, I don't look really for anything if it comes and comes. Be taking it round by round, you know, uh, the knockout there, we'll see the opening. Of course, we're going to jump on it and uh, not hesitate. But uh, right now, we're just here to fight and uh, put on a good show for everybody. Uh, well, I'm going to punish my opponent and uh, destroy him and destroy him and make him come back from my injury and just make him safe. You have to look at the fighters that are here. The more they work, the more we want to give. Like you, you have seen outside, we brought in a truck. The truck is going to be all over Pico Rivera. We will have three more trucks coming, uh, two more trucks coming up. So there, will, there will be three trucks that are going to be roaming around with the names uh, and uh, the fights that they're going to have. It will be advertised. The more they support us, the more they work with us the more we're going to give to them. I had another question for Ray. Ray, we know some of these of uh, the zone and a lot of these companies are picking up fighters. Is that something we see in the future of you maybe picking up a fighter, sponsoring on, taking care of them, like, you know, we see with the zone and, you know, all Canelo and all the other fighters? First and foremost, we have, we have to really take care of ourselves. Then once that, uh, that structure is done, we are building the speed. Once the structure of red boxing is really set, yes, we are here to sign fighters. So we don't just want to sign fighters, and we can't take them somewhere. We really want to take them somewhere, so we want them to be remembered. Like, like it was said, these are the fighters of tomorrow. These are the champions of tomorrow. We have to make sure when we sign someone, we will have a plan for them. And if we sign someone, has to fall with a certain criteria because everybody is a fighter but not everybody can be a world champion we can give them the opportunity we can open the world for them it is for them to take that opportunity they have to work hard they have to work smart he's the gbo california state world group from Portland, california the fans unbeaten three and oh uh, and come my way of a real city over the Ukrainian Hunter Parker.
He is Steven Elvintado Rodriguez. Hi, I'm really thankful for the Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here. Welcome to the 